read the Quran. You stimulated me. Perhaps I should read the Quran. But I would like to know what you believe with the ascension of Jesus. Do you believe that he actually lived? So then what happened to Jesus if he lived? If he did not die, if he lived? No, the Quranic ayah, the verse that I read to you, the last expression I said was Bal Rafahullahu ilayh but Allah took him up to himself. We Muslims believe that God Almighty took him up, saved him from that ignoble death and nakedness of the cross because the people on the cross were absolutely naked. They didn't respect you to put a little loincloth around the man. The messenger of God, you say the son of God, naked and bare before the world, you know, flies buzzing around him. No, no, no. God Almighty didn't allow that to happen to his servant. His messenger, Jesus, God saved him and took him up. And I say, he's coming back to just you. He is coming back. To do what? You know, we Muslims, we believe and we claim that Islam is the culmination, the fulfillment of all of God's revelation to man. All true guidance, all guidance is given to us. We don't have to learn anything new from Jesus or Moses or Muhammad anymore. Whatever God wanted to give, He's given it to us. So what is Jesus coming to do? I says, no, He's coming along to rectify you. And He's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew, He says, many will say to me on that day, in His second coming, on His return, and many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? They're going to ask Jesus, didn't we do all these things? We build hospitals, you know, orphanages, and we look after, after the aborigines, and we look after the Maoris, uh -huh, and we look after the Indians. Oh, yes, yes, all these things we did. Huh? We educated all these fools, you know, we civilized them, we culture them, yes, 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 we did all the things. So did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? What does Jesus say to that? He said, I never knew you. He said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You are evil doers, you are evil mongers. Who is he? You who are working in the name of Christ, looking after the lepers, looking after orphans, Mother Teresa, wonderful work she's doing. My God, I tell you, you know, I bow my head down out of respect for her. All the wonderful things you people are doing, the way you look after the animals, you know, animal conservation to preserve life. Ooh, fantastic things you are doing, but for human beings as well. Watch what you are doing. And that's what you're going to say to Jesus. I'm asking the Christians, answer me. You know why? You know why? Because you call him Lord. He is not your Lord. He is not your God. That's the reason. That is the reason. He's telling you, come, come, come. I'll teach you how to pray and pray like this. And he puts the words in your mouth. Like a little baby, like a little child, pray like this. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, our Father, which art in heaven, including Judas, because Judas was in the group, he's the father of everybody, the sinner and the saint, he's the creator, Lord, cherisher, sustainer. Call him Father, okay. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where did he say the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven? Oh, Jesus Christ, my Lord in heaven. Where? He said, this is how you pray, but you have forgotten that. You are worshipping him instead of worshipping the Father. Uh, did you say, the lady, the lady, did you say you got the Quran? You have a Quran? I said, I stimulated me to read.